Now that we've learned the rules about how to tell whether zero is significant or not, let's take a look at calculations involving numbers with zeros in them. We'll go through this really quickly. I got a couple uh, multiplication and division problems here. Uh, let's go through them. Uh, 307 here has three significant figures because of this sandwiched zero, and 32,000 has two significant figures because zeros that are coming to the right of significant figures when the number doesn't have a decimal point are not considered significant, right? So that means that when we multiply these together, here is the answer that we get that our calculator spits out. We want to round it to two significant figures. So we'll keep the 9, we'll keep the 8, we'll look next door to the 8, whether to round up or down, we keep it the same. So we keep the 9, we keep the 8, and we fill everything else in with zeros. All right, so now that you've learned that significant uh, now that you've learned that zeros to the right of uh, non-zero digits are not significant, now you understand why filling in the rest of the number with zeros leaves you an answer that has only two significant figures, the 9 and the 8 and nothing more. All right? Let's look at this one here. Four significant figures here because zeros to the right of a non-zero number are significant when there's a decimal place in the number, and this is easy. Three significant figures here because there are no zeros here. They're all uh, non-zero digits, always significant. Which means that we're going to round this to the lower of them, to three. Uh, to three. So we're going to go one, two, keep this, and look to the right to see whether we should round it up or round it down. It's a zero, so we, uh, so we keep it the same. So we're going to turn this to 0.0. .0. Neither of those are significant because they're to the left. One, five, zero. And the zero is significant because it's to the right of non-zero numbers and there's a decimal place in the number. So that is our final answer there. All right. When we divide these guys, here is the ugly answer that our calculator spits out. How do we round it? Well, there are five significant figures here because there are zeros to the right, but there's a decimal point. There are only two significant figures here because there are zeros to the right, but there is no decimal place, which means that we take the lower of them, two, and we're going to round this number to two significant figures. These guys to the left are not significant, so we don't have to worry about them. We're going to keep the two, and we're going to keep the zero, and look next door to see whether we should round up, or uh, keep it the same, or whether we should round up. We're going to round up because it's an eight, so we're going to get 0.0, .0 to the left, so they're not significant, two, one. And that there is our final answer. Let's do, uh, let's do two more here. 0 0.0005. Only one significant digit there because we can ignore all of the zeros to the left of a, uh, a non-zero number. One there and one, two, three here, ignoring this one to the right because there is no decimal place there. So three significant digits there. That means that we're going to round our answer to only one significant digit. The zero we don't have to worry about because it's not significant. We're going to keep the four, and we're going to look next door to see whether we should round up or down. Uh, we will round it up. 0 0.5 is our final answer here. And finally, uh, these guys multiplied together. 0, 0.0, we don't worry about those. 3, 0, 1, the 0 is sandwiched in between these guys, so it's significant. And the 0 to the right is also significant because there's a decimal place in the answer. Four significant figures here, 5, 0, 3. We know those are significant because of the sandwich. Now the idea uh, here is the 0 to the right, is it significant or not? It's not because there is not a decimal place in the number, which means that we're going to be rounding our answer here to only three significant figures. The one stays, uh, the five stays, and the one stays. Looks next door. Do we keep it the same or round up? It's a four, so we keep it the same. So our final answer is one, five, one.